Can you remember the first manager you ever worked for? I not only can remember him, 40 years later, I still have lunch with him. Let's have ourselves a pocket-sized pep talk because the last time we met, he taught me a lesson about taking advice I'll never forget. A pocket-sized pep talk, the podcast that can help energize your business and your life with a quick, inspiring message. Now, here's your host, Rob Jollis. Yeah, it wasn't too long ago I had lunch with the first manager I ever worked for. I worked for this guy for, let's see, maybe 40 years ago. And although I may not have known it at the time, he was probably the best manager I ever worked for. He taught me how to sell, how to manage my time, and a lot more. What made this past meeting so amazing was that this time, he taught me a lesson he recently taught himself. He believes that this simple lesson actually saved his life. Let me explain it to you. This man was not just an average run-of-the-mill manager. He ran an insurance office that consisted of 100 people, including over 70 salespeople, support staff, assistant managers, trainers, and office administrators. He helped make this particular office located in Washington, D.C., one of the most successful offices in the country. And if you ask him, he'll tell you his best work was with the sales team. Now, selling insurance can be a brutal profession with a washout rate of, oh, probably over 70%. That high rate of turnover shows you just how hard a profession it really is. It takes a special person to be able to listen problem solve, instill confidence, show empathy, and care. But as he put it, the most difficult task was often to look a person in the eye and tell them, you need to pick yourself up by your bootstraps, dust yourself off, and fight. This wasn't the first time I reconnected with this manager. In fact, I, I met with this manager about once a year for maybe the past five years or six years. Every time I saw him, he looked a little worse than the previous time. Now, he had a number of personal setbacks, including enduring the sorrow of losing his wife, the love of his life. But last year when I saw him, he looked sad and he looked distant. I was wondering if that was going to be the last time I saw him. We fast forward to a couple weeks ago, and this time my manager looks much better as he strolls in to meet me for lunch. He was smiling and confident. And he was teasing me about my bald head. He was back. He spoke about the presentations he was delivering and the volunteer counseling he was conducting at his assisted living facility for those who were battling depression. After about 15 minutes of listening to how this man not only came back from the brink, but was now helping others, I asked him point blank, what happened to you? You look like you're a completely different person from the man I saw last year. His answer was simple. Rob, for over 40 years, I managed people who struggled at home, on the job, and always found the words to help them. And sometimes these words were motivational, and sometimes these words were pretty tough, but they were always honest. In short, I sat myself down, and I decided to have a conversation with myself. I asked myself, what would I tell myself if I was still manager. At that exact moment, everything became clear and easier to understand. Believe me when I tell you this man is back. The solution here may sound almost too simplistic, but I've seen this transformation with my own eyes. Isn't it interesting how often the answers we seek are right there in front of us? If you are struggling, ask yourself this question. If I were helping someone else with this issue, what would I tell him or her? And then listen. Thanks so much for listening. If you enjoyed today's show, please rate and recommend it on iTunes, Outcast, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can also get more information on this show and Rob at Jollis.com.